the submagnetostriction oscillator, it turns out, is more of a solenoid oscillator in which the coil is being energized, L2, and it's producing a thrust in this direction. It's being de-energized, and that thrust is coming back, hitting this side a little bit, and then re-energized like this. But it's always the main thrust is in this direction towards this piezo. We have another piezo over here. Uh, you can see this piezo and this piezo, and this is the energizing coil. And it seems like it's thrusting this way and that way. And it's creating a waveform here that's out of phase with the one here by 180 degrees. And these are the signals. This is the one on the left. It's much greater amplitude. This is the one on the right. It's much lower amplitude. So what we see is when this is high, this isn't low. So it's like it's shifted this way. The rod. The rod is gone. Think higher voltage over here. Which means this coil pushed it that way. Then it lets go it quits pushing it. And then the rod comes back here a little bit, pushes back, pushes back. So that results in this type of waveform. And it's more of a solenoid action than a magnetostriction. If this was magnetostriction, which it's not, the uh, voltage here, or the having a magnetic field here would either oppose or align with both sides. Um, meaning, say this is south, this is north, and this alternates between being north and south, or south and north. If this is south, these oppose, or these fields oppose, and you have disorientation here. This is north, disorientation here results in total overall constriction. Then, when this is north and this is south, this expands. This expands as the domains go from disoriented to all being aligned along the axis. It literally causes it to lengthen. Uh, but it would lengthen on both ends, and that would result in both of these being in phase on the voltages on the piezo. So, however, that is not what's happening. Instead of being out, in, out, in, it's more this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. Just like a solenoid. Uh, I can show this at other frequencies. Okay. If we move all these totally inward. Okay. I lost the... This is another frequency where they're both in the middle. And I'm going to expand the waveform ever so slightly. And do a save. And again, 180 degrees out of phase. So pretty interesting. We're really not doing anything here except moving a rod back and forth. So that's the end of this video and probably the end of this project, I would say. Still interesting, but there you go.